Hi, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can create this beautiful looking off canvas menu with Elementor. Hi, this is Anand from designtheway.com and welcome to my channel where I teach how to create beautiful website using WordPress. Excited to learn? Let's get right into it. The menu you saw earlier is actually a replica of a real project that I did for one of my clients. In fact, that was developed with a different theme and plugin. If I remember properly, it was ultimatum theme and he was using Uber menu. So I asked myself, hmm, can I create this in Elementor alone? So challenge is accepted. Let's find out together. So for this demo purpose, I've already created a menu. Let's go over here and click on menus. This is the menu. I've named it as off canvas menu. These are the menu items. It also has a sub menu. Now the first task is to add icons to the menu. Here I'm using Astra theme, which doesn't allow you to add icons to menu natively. In fact, most of the themes don't have that option. So basically we have two options. Either we can use a plugin like this one, menu icons by Themisly, which adds an option within the menu item to add icons from their own library. And secondly, we can use font icon services like Font Awesome. For this instance, I will use Font Awesome simply because it has much bigger icon library and Elementor natively supports Font Awesome. So I do not need to add any additional plugins. So let's close this window. And now let's go to icons. And now let's search for an icon. I will search for home. Let's choose this icon, click over here. Now I need to copy this HTML code, simply click over here and it will be copied. Let's get back to our menu. Let's open this and I will paste it over here. Similarly, I will add icons to other items. Let me do it quickly. So I've added icons to each item except for sub menus. Now let's save the menu. Now the next step is to create the off canvas menu for which I will use the pop up feature of Elementor, which is a part of Elementor Pro. So you need to have Elementor Pro. Now let's close this window first. Now we'll go to templates and click on pop ups. Let's click add new. Now I will name the pop-up as off canvas menu pop-up. Now let's click create template. I will not be using any templates. So click, let's close this window. Now let's quickly adjust some settings. First of all, I will change the width to 100 pixel and set the height to fit the screen. Let's align it to left and vertical top. Let's close this overlay. Now for entrance animation, I will choose slide in left and for exit animation, I will choose slide out left and let's set the duration to 0.5. Now let's go to style. I will change this cross position a bit. Click over here. I will set the vertical position to 1 and horizontal position to 5. Now let's go to advanced tab. And now I will turn on prevent closing on overlay and prevent closing on escape key. Simply because I do not want my menu to be closed 
if someone clicks outside the pop-up or press the escape key so the pop-up settings are done now let's come over here now I will add the menu over here for that I will search for nav this is the widget we will use again this is a part of the Elementor Pro pack let's drag it over here and from this drop down I will choose off canvas menu now in the layout let's choose vertical in the pointer I will choose background and sub menu indicator I will choose this one and now a very important setting I will set the breakpoint to none simply because I do not want my menu to be collapsed in mobile view now let's go to style in the typography I will set the font size to let's say 15 pixel and weight to 400 and now let's set the color to black Now let's spread out the menus a bit for that I will add some vertical padding let's drag the slider up here I think it looks good and now on hover let's change the pointer color to this color it looks nice and now in the drop down let's change the font size to 14 pixel and on hover I will change the background color to this same color it looks nice but currently we do not see that drop down menu over here we'll fix that later but currently I can see some space on the both sides let's fix that first let's select this container and let's set the column gap to no gap this should fix the issue yeah it worked now let's hit publish we do not need to set any condition trigger or advanced rules so simply click save and close and now the third step is to create a button that will trigger this pop-up for that I will create a custom header to do that let's get back to the dashboard for that I will use the finder tool let's click let's hit control E let's type dash now let's click dashboard now let's get back to templates and click on theme builder now click on header and now click add new header now I will name the header as off canvas menu header now let's hit create template again I will not use any template so let's close this window let's click over here and I will choose this two column section let's come over here and we'll add the site logo here the logo is showing up let's adjust the width of this column I think it looks good and on the right column I will add a button let's drag it over here I don't need any text so let's remove it and I, I will add an icon let's click over here let's search for bars let's select this one and click insert now let's align it to right now in the styles tab let's remove the background color for here I will set the transparency to 100% and the text color to black this looks better now let's go to advanced tab let's unlink this 
I will add some margin top to align it with the logo. Let's say 20 pixel. Yeah, it looks good. Now let's get back to content again. And now to set the trigger, let's go to dynamic over here and let's scroll down to find pop up. Let's click over here and now search for our pop up. Our pop up name is off, off canvas menu pop up. And in the action tab, I will set the action to toggle pop up. So this button will open the pop up and will close it too. And to add some style, I will add a border bottom to this section. Let's select this section. Let's go to style. Let's go to border. And let's set the border type to solid. And let's unlink this. Let's set the border bottom to one pixel. And set the color to this one. It looks good. And now let's hit publish. Just for this demo, I will add this header to my about us page. Let's hit add condition. Let's click over here and select singular. Let's click over here again, select pages. And from here, I will type about us. And now let's hit save and close. Now let's get back to the about us page and let's refresh the page. Yeah, as you can see, our new header is applied. Now let's check if our menu is working or not. Let's click over here. Yes, yeah, it's, it's working. Let's click again. Yes, yeah, it's, it's working beautifully. But if you see closely, there are a few issues we need to solve. First of all, the icons are not placed above the label and the drop down menu is not showing up. If you see at the bottom, there is a scroll bar. We need to fix that too. For this, we will add some custom CSS. For this, I will use the customizer tool. But ideally, you would like to add your custom CSS in your child themes CSS file or in a plugin like this one. Simple custom CSS. I will add the link in the description below. But here, I'll be using custom CSS simply because I want to show you live how the CSS is affecting the menu. For that, let's click customize over here. Now first, let's open our menu. Let's click over here. And now let's go to additional CSS tab. Let's close this. First, I will add a couple of CSS. Wow, this automatically fix the icon issue. Now let me explain what the CSS is doing. Here I will be using some technical terms, so please bear with me. Since Elementor already uses Flexbox, here for the menu, I have used flex wrap to break this icon and text into two lines and align them to center. And now for the icon, I have set the width to 100%, so it takes the 100% width and set the font size to 32 pixel and text line to center. I hope this little part is clear to you. If not, don't worry. You can download the entire CSS from my website. I will add the post link in the description below. Now next, we need to fix this indicator. Since our menu will be, since our drop down menu will be opening on the right hand side, I would like the icon to be placed on the right hand side and indicating the right side. For that, I will add this little CSS code. Okay, I have set the position to absolute and placed it 5 pixel from the right hand side. I have set the top 50% to align it vertically center. And I have set the rotation to minus 90 degree. So the arrow faces the right side. And I have set the padding to 0. And now the final bit of CSS is for the drop down menu. Let's add it. 
first of all let's check if the menu is working or not yes it's working now let me explain what the CSS is doing first of all I've set a box shadow just to create this separator effect between the main menu and the drop down menu I've set a background to white and I've set the height to 100 VH that will be the 100 percent of the viewport height so the drop down menu will be 100 percent of the viewport height I've set the position to fixed top position to zero this value is very important if you remember while setting the pop-up we set the width to 100 pixel so that value and this left value should be equal and I've set the margin to zero here I am using the important property simply to override the existing CSS which Elementor provides for this particular section finally I've set the overflow Y to auto in case you have a long list of items you can simply scroll down and now finally let's hit publish and now let's close this customizer now let's check if our menu is responsive or not for that I will open this URL in incognito window let's check if the menu is working or not yes it's working perfectly now let's check the responsiveness let's click over here yes it's working this is great it's working in mobile as well whoa we've done it let's get back to the desktop view I hope you enjoyed creating this menu as much as I did if you like this video please do subscribe to the channel and hit the like button thanks for your time i'll see you in the next video till then bye bye take care